friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so you know what that means, it is grocery haul day. So if you are excited for another grocery haul with some new food finds, give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, can't recommend enough to reach your weight loss goals as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts, to all my favorite things and don't forget come join our Facebook group we'd love to have you so let's jump into the grocery haul what's on my menu for dinners and of course what you'll see Monday for meal prep you're not gonna want to miss it so here is this week's grocery haul all I went to as far as stores this week is Walmart we didn't need a ton of groceries you know the last couple hauls have been huge between my massive stock up haul and then I did go to Sam's Club Trader Joe's got a lot there so this is exactly what we need to make it through the week so let me show you what I picked up first thing is a case of water we are going through lots of water between Troy golfing me going to the gym I've been really loving Aquafina I don't know why but it's kind of been my water of choice lately so I picked up a whole case of that some daisy light sour cream this is just to have on hand we use sour cream a lot I picked up the Philadelphia whipped garlic and herb I was debating between the chive and the garlic and herb I want to try a turkey sandwich dupe that I've been thinking a lot about that sounds really good if it turns out good I'll share it with you guys in Wednesday's what I eat in a day but I needed some cream cheese for that and I really prefer the whipped I just think it spreads a little bit easier some country crock light butter for Troy that is his favorite butter and by the way the country crock light is a lot more affordable than the I can't believe it's not butter light I'm talking three or four dollars less. I ended up grabbing the Shamrock Farms cottage cheese. I really wanted good culture, but I didn't want to go to Sprouts just for cottage cheese. So I picked up the big one of this. I have been eating a lot of cottage cheese. It is such a great way to get in protein, and it's been my go-to morning or afternoon snack. My friend Kelly told me about these when I was in San Diego, and I've never tried them, and I spotted them at Walmart, so I picked one up. These are the Chicken of the Sea infusions. So basically what it is is it's flavored tuna and this is the lemon and thyme I love lemon anything I love thyme and I thought that this would be really great to take on the go it even comes with a fork and it has 22 grams of protein and only 140 calories they also had a smoked one I decided to try this one if I like it I'll definitely pick up some more but what a great way to get in protein and you can even take it with you I needed a can of corn for a dinner recipe so I just grabbed the no salt added I also needed bacon bits for a recipe and plus we like to have these on hand for salads baked potatoes these are really good to throw over little mini roasted potatoes as well I mean who doesn't love bacon on pretty much everything some prune juice for Troy we already know a couple of different cheeses first a light fiesta blend for a dinner recipe and then a huge bag of part skim mozzarella because I am making chaffles again you guys unanimously requested more chaffle recipes so we're going to make one for breakfast in meal prep. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing Monday for meal prep. I also picked up some paper plates because it's super convenient. Bagel thin. So my plan is to use a bagel thin, some of the cream cheese, some turkey, and I don't know what else, but I'm going to make a really decadent turkey sandwich. And I thought that on a bagel thin would be really good. You could toast it, not toast it. I was debating between the plain and the everything, but I think for the sandwich idea I have, the plain makes a little more sense. So again, if it works out, stay tuned for that on Wednesday, in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. I did grab some more eggs because I've been doing a lot of the egg whites, cheese on an English muffin for breakfast. I actually shared that little breakfast idea in this Wednesdays, two days ago, three days ago, what I eat in a day. So I'll link that video down below if you missed it. I needed some baking chocolate for my meal prep and I grabbed the milk chocolate because it was on sale. And then I spotted this when I was grabbing some produce and this is the fruit and cheese bites. It was on clearance for $1.90. It expires on the 4th. I'm currently shopping on the 3rd so I'll definitely eat it before then. It's only 180 calories for the whole thing and there's grapes, apples, cheese. I thought this would be a great little snack. 
There is also seven grams of protein. Some 1% milk for Troy. And then for produce, I just got my Imperfect Foods order. I shared that haul in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day too. Again, that is linked below. But I did need some celery and some green onions. So I did swing through the clothing clearance at Walmart and I found a couple of super cute things. So first I grabbed this little tank top. It's in a size medium, I think. Nope, size large. It was $4 and it's really cute. It has the buttons in the front and then it kind of has some texture on it. I thought it was really cute and would be perfect for working out. And then I saw these denim shorts also on clearance for $7. I got a size large junior. So it's an eight to 10 in women's, which is what I wear. And I thought that these were cute with the little tie waist and they're not super, super short. So I won't be self-conscious about all my loose skin on my thighs. So those were $7 and the tank top was $4. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on the menu for dinners this week. So today's Saturday, always an out to dinner day. Sunday I'm making loaded chicken and potatoes. You will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. And then on Monday, we're going to have a pizza night. Tuesday is leftovers, Wednesday's tacos, and Thursday I'm making meatloaf. I found a recipe that claims to be the best meatloaf ever, so we're gonna make it and test that out for ourselves. And Friday is leftovers, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. By popular, popular, popular demand, I am making chaffle French toast sticks. We're making a healthy spin on those not so healthy French toast sticks. Lunch is going to be cheesy taco pasta. I've been craving pasta, so I'm definitely doing that. And then I'm making peanut butter balls. These are chocolate dipped, low carb peanut butter balls. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes in meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. She was small, but she was mighty. I'm really excited for all the recipes this week and equally, maybe even more excited for what I have in store for you for Monday's meal prep. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to head on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.